Hi, welcome to Singapore V Supplies instructional video series. I'm Ronald and I'd like to share with you about setting up a glider with Futaba 16SZ, 16IZ and the 18SZ. This channel has received many comments and encouragements. I'd like to thank you for your kind words and we are here today to answer your questions. In this video, we're going to reply to Scott and this is his question. Hi, I love your videos. Would you consider doing one of failsafe and incorporating the battery failsafe as well? Thanks so much, Scott. Scott, thank you for your question and I think this is an important one. I would like to address it in this video. Now, when we talk about failsafe, we also need to consider several factors. For example, the flying field that you fly. Now, if your flying field that you are flying is a very wide and vast flying field, you may set up the failsafe for the model to glide as far as possible and keeping it safe. However, if the flying field that you have is constrained with uh, residential areas and build up areas, then it may be an option to bring your model down as soon as possible when it gets into failsafe. In other words, the setup of the failsafe depends on the environment that you fly in. It is important to keep the environment safe. So if the flying field is constrained, the failsafe could be a full aileron, full rudder to bring the model down to the ground as soon as possible. It also means uh, damage to the model. However, it keeps the environment safe. All right, so this is some considerations as we set up failsafe. Let's get down to setting it up with the 16IZ. For the failsafe, it is in the linkage menu. Failsafe. So for ailerons, by default, the mode is hold for all the channels. In other words, all the channel will hold the last position if it stops receiving the signal from the transmitter. So we want to preset some of these channels. And one of those things that we want to set up is to bring the motor down to minimum or zero. So let's set the motor down to zero. Okay, we change from the hold to fail safe. By default, the percentage here is zero. Doesn't mean that it is zero throttle. So what we need to do is we need to bring the switch, okay, switch down to the zero throttle, okay, position, and touch this switch here. As you can see, now it's minus 100, and that is the correct position that we want the motor to be in. Next, we do the elevator. Okay. Now elevator, we would like to have a bit of up elevator just to hold it. Okay. So we hold the position at what we want the model to do. And we touch this position. And then it gets to the minus 25. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if we want to bring the model down before it leaves the flying field, then we might need to put in full ailerons to spiral it down. So what we do is we activate the aileron 1, aileron 2 to fail safe, hold the sticks to one side, left side or right side is up to you. So I hold it to the left, touch this, aileron 2, okay, and then this is the Setup. So in other words, throttle minimum, slide up elevator with full left ailerons. Let's see it on the model itself. So right now the model is energized with all the setup as I'm flying. 
Suppose it loses transmission from my transmitter. I turn off my transmitter. Observe the reaction on the ailerons and elevator. Can you see that? It goes into slide up and left ailerons. I turn it on as it regains transmission. Goes back to neutral. Now, let's demonstrate also the spinning of the motor and how the failsafe will stop the motor from spinning. Okay, I am going to spin up the motor 50%. Turn off and motor stops. So this is fail safe. Turn it on again. All controls will go back to neutral. So the other portion of fail safe is called the battery fail safe. Now battery fail safe will kick in when the voltage to the receiver drops down below its minimum threshold it will go into the failsafe that you set up similar to what happens when it loses the transmission from the transmitter. So in the linkage manual, failsafe. Now let's turn on the battery failsafe. For those channels that we just set up for. Okay, so BS, F, uh, BFS, BFS for all that. Now, for the battery failsafe, we also should set up a release battery failsafe simply because the battery can drop to below the minimum but it can bounce back as well. So we want to be able to pull a switch to release the failsafe. So in this case, I will like to select the release battery failsafe on my switch H which is a toggle switch. So switch H, okay, set the on here. Alright, now I'm going to attempt to demonstrate that by lowering the power supply to the speed controller. I'll bring it down. Now the systems are buzzing. And you'll see that the system will get into failsafe shortly. Okay, so the system has gone into fail safe. Now, once it's gone into fail safe, it locks in fail safe. Now, what can be controlled is the rudder that we have not set up as a pre default. Now, as you move the other channels, it is locked. So, the battery, the release battery fail safe comes in by clicking it. Now, the system is moving again. Okay, if I were to reduce the battery. Voltage, increase it. All right, so you see it gets into battery fail safe. And I release it again. So, when we set battery fail safe, and in the event the system kicks into battery fail safe, the release battery fail safe is important. Now, it also means that we need to land our model as soon as possible. So we've covered today, fail safe and battery fail safe. We hope this session was helpful to you. Please like and share our videos if you enjoyed this session. For more upcoming helpful videos, do subscribe to our channel. Keep your comments coming and thank you for watching.